In this lesson, we're going to talk about formatting alignments with the text. Uh, and we're going to talk about merging some cells and then indenting. Should be pretty, pretty straightforward. So let's start off over here. Let me zoom in a little bit. And right now, we've got some text that says left aligned, centered, and right aligned. And you can probably tell none of those are right. So if I want to left align some text, if I'm on my font group, to the right of that, you have an alignment group. And we have these controls here, which control vertical alignment, and these control horizontal alignment. So right now, I want it left aligned. It's saying it's center, but I want it left, so I'll click that, and it left aligns that cell. So then for the centered, I click that, and I click centered. And then for right aligned, I will click the right align. Okay? There's one more horizontal alignment we could talk about that doesn't show up on our choices here but it does show up when we get the flyaway. So I'll click on this one that has three lines of text. So if I'm on my alignment tab and I can come down here for my horizontal alignment, instead of left, center, or right, I can do justify. And then when I click okay, what that does is it keeps the font spread out to the edges on every line except for the last one. So that's what justified is. Now we can go down to this table, and here's what is pretty useful with tables. So we've got a table here that says Raymond's Fruit Sales. What we'd like to do is actually have that kind of in the middle of our table and going across there, okay? Well, we could mess around and try to type it in here, but it might not look quite right, and we might not get it exactly right. So let me back up there and show you what this tool is. So there is a tool that lets you merge and center if you want something to be a big heading over a table. So I will click on this and just drag it all the way to the right of my table. And then I will click my merge and center button up here. Now what that'll do is that'll take the text in the leftmost cell and center it across my entire selection. And what's really neat about that is no matter what I do as far as column sizes go, since it's a merge and centered format, it's always going to be centered across those four cells. So it'll always look even. So next we'll talk about wrap text. And we've seen this a little bit before, but here's an example where you have text that's way too big to fit in that cell. Uh, so I've got three lines of text here. And it's not going to fit here. It's going to wrap over, or if I start typing something else, Then it gets cut off and I can't see it. So sometimes you want to have text display in the cell, but utilize multiple rows. So what we'll do in that case is we'll go up here to this wrap text button. And this is a toggle. You can turn it on and off. So let me just click it and then click it off again so you can see. So here I toggled it. And what wrap text did is it took all that text and just expanded the row so the row was big enough. And then it let Excel wrap the text around so it has multiple lines of text there. So again, this is just another tool to help you format your worksheet when you're getting ready to present it to somebody or print it out or something. If you don't want to wrap the text, you don't have to. But it is definitely an option that helps you in your formatting. So after wrap text, let's go down here and talk about indenting. Now, we might have reasons we want to indent some things and a lot of us would probably just go about it this way. Go in here and click my mouse in there and hit five spaces so I manually do it. But then I have to do it on everything and I'm just not you know, sure how many spaces there are. So Excel has some tools that let you indent that are really useful, again, in that alignment section. So I can come down here, maybe I want to indent PC versions by one. So I'll click the indent here, increase indent, and then maybe I want format, font, formatting, fonts, and alignment indented as well. And then maybe I want these guys indented twice. So here I could just click on indent, indent, and indent them twice, and then do that here, and indent here. And again, notice that doesn't change the value. It stays the exact same. So I haven't put 15 extra spaces in here. I'm just indenting it so visually it looks good on the spreadsheet. And I can come back here, and I can decrease the indent as well to bring it back. All right, now the last thing we're going to talk about is vertical alignment. And it's last because it's almost never even needed. 
Most of the time, everything is vertically aligned to the bottom of the cell, but you do have the option again. So on this cell, it says align me to the top of the cell. So I'll go up here to my alignments and here's my vertical alignment to the top of line. This one wants to be aligned to the middle of the cell. So I can click that right there for a middle of line. And this one wants to go to the bottom of the cell. So I'll click that. Good job.